How would natural selection, for example, inhibit the gradual evolution of the bacterial flagellum? A bacterium that does not have a flagellum, um, there are such bacteria and, and they can survive. We can ask, you know, uh, if, if uh, a bacterium wanted to produce one or, or uh, uh, how could a flagellum be produced on a bacterium that, that did not have one? Well, if it started to produce components that would later be uh, used in the flagellum, unless they were of immediate benefit to the organism, then it turns out that natural selection would tend to weed out those bacteria because uh, they would be using energy to produce parts that other bacteria are not producing and not getting a, uh, some benefit out of them. So essentially they're burning energy uh, wastefully and natural selection would tend to keep those, uh, keep those things out of the population. So it turns out that, uh, looked in that way, natural selection not only uh, does not help uh, to produce a, a complicated, irreducibly complex machine like the flagellum, but it actually would, would tend to prevent it um, because, again, uh, if you're using energy to produce something that is, is not beneficial to you, you're, you're at a disadvantage.